Hey everyone, Prue Blenner has it here, leading intuitive business strategist and women's transformation catalyst. And I love to help women to really get to the truth of who they are, to bring forward their most divine sacred expression out into this world through their soul work, to have them be divinely compensated, to create an incredible offering and to really serve the community at the deepest most luscious level possible um, and what I have to share today I feel it might be like a little bit controversial so uh, I'm really curious to hear what you all think because uh, it's not necessarily what I hear a lot of people talking about and <clears throat> that is that um, your website should be one of the last things that you work on in your business no shit so many women i see are um you know tell me oh you know i'm i'm gonna do xyz and i'm gonna get to this point and that point i just need to do my website or the first thing like they want to do is to get their website done and i'm like but you don't know who you are you don't know who you want to serve you don't know what you want to offer like you don't know what your customer journey is so how can you possibly create something impactful in terms of a website and, a, and an online um, presence in that sense if you haven't done the groundwork and if you don't know deeply what the answers to these things are because that is how you create something that's really powerful and is impactful and is going to speak to your divine customers the people that you really want to work with, the people who are going to be magnetized towards you, you know, you want to understand their journey, the journey that they're going to go through before you create your website. So, so many women are obsessed with getting their website ready and it really, I have to say that it, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit and it makes me a bit sad because I know that they're going to get this thing, this website <laughs> designed and developed and probably spend a whole lot of time and quite a bit of money doing it and then they're not going to have, it's not going to have the impact that they want. They're not going to be seeing the results and then they're going to feel disheartened. And you know, your sacred soul work is too important to risk feeling disheartened, disheartened just because you go through the wrong process, you know, like just because you start in the wrong place. Um, it's way too important. What you're here to share and what you have to say matters. Your message and the way that you're here to serve and the work that you have to offer the world is far too important to have yourself get disheartened by something so simple as... <clears throat> you know, misordering what it is or the way that you're doing things. So the other thing that happens when you, when you create your website is that when you don't have clarity, this, this piece of, um, you know, this expression of you becomes outdated almost instantly because when you don't have that clarity about who you are, who you serve, what you offer, um, then those things are changing all the time because it's like a it's like a piece of a feather blowing in the breeze. It's like woo woo, like it's not grounded because it's there's no clarity and there's no grounding to what that is. So you know, so the website can then become this constant source of anxiety with the need, like the feeling, like it needs to be updated because it's out of date as soon as it goes up. And then it becomes an excuse and a hindrance to women actually delivering their soul work. And I'm sure anyone that knows me well, <laughs> or if you're watching this, you might have guessed that I'm pretty darn passionate about women living their soul work and delivering their soul work in this world. I feel like it is one of the greatest ways that we can um, have a powerful impact, not just in our own lives and in that of our immediate families and our communities, but in all of those lives that we touch, um, our clients, their families, like the ripples go on and on and on, and then their client, you know, so on and so forth. So 
you know, I'm super passionate about this and super passionate about women not getting disheartened, about them feeling inspired, about them uh, not getting disheartened by just following a process that isn't going to serve them. So, you know, all that us soul, soul women want to do is to really serve our communities at the deepest level. Like, that's what we're looking to do. We want to see people thrive, you know, with our contribution. We want to see that what we're doing and what we have to offer makes a difference. But the most important part of that is not necessarily that we just want to see people thrive. And when we have something to share that we know can make a difference, that's what we want to do. We want to provide that. We really want to be at the at the edge of supporting that change and that transformation and that difference to come through. And we also want to be divinely compensated and supported for that. So, you know, we're not here to be martyrs. We're not here to sacrifice our own livelihoods for the sake of the community either. I don't think that's healthy. Um, we are here to serve ourselves and our communities at the deepest level. And that is not an equation that has to happen separate to each other. That can absolutely all happen together. And in fact, it's the most powerful way. So what I'm trying to say is that a website is not a panacea for um, your business needs. It is not the cure-all. It is not the, the answer for, especially when you're starting out, especially when you're starting out. And I think that this can be such a relief, you know, like the idea of having to do a website as like the first thing in your business is massive. You don't need to, it's not necessary. Um, so yeah, it's not a panacea. And if anything, it's a hindrance if you do it before you're ready. So if you, um, and if you haven't already sold your offering, like if, you, if you're not clear on who you are and what you're doing, and you haven't already created your offering and sold it, then it's too soon to make your website. So first, you need to get absolutely clar absolute clarity on who you are, on what your brilliance is, and what it is that you are really here to bring forward. And this is one of my, um, you know, I'm not afraid to say it, this is one of my absolute gifts. Um, I just had another conversation with a divine woman this morning uh, and talking, well, understanding and feeling into her, um, her energy and understanding her uh, life experience and what she's been through and what she is here deeply to bring forward and being able to reflect that back to her is like, man, I'm in heaven. like. <laughs> best best time ever um, so who you are what your brilliance is and what you're here to bring forward and then who you want to serve at the deepest level with that transformation what is the transformation that you want to bring forward for the people that you most want to serve and then it's a matter of um, bringing forward your offering so how do those things intersect into the most powerful transformation you can provide for your clients in an incredible offering? So basically all of that stuff is what we do together in, my, um, in the first month of my 90 day immersion, sacred immersion, CEO priestess. So there's three months and each month, you know, we cover a lot of ground. Um, and there's a lot of support material and I am of course, you know, um, deeply supportive in the process and holding space and holding a sacred container for all of the incredible women that I work with. And so that's what we cover in the first month is really getting crystal clear on who you are, what you're here to bring forward, who you want to serve and your offering. We create your incredible offering. Um, and it's, yeah definitely one of my favorite favorite parts of the process of course because it's creation um but you know it's all beautiful and divine and i love it so i um yeah so i just really wanted to i've been having this bee in my bonnet about this website stuff i'm like oh my god i gotta do a live um so i'd love to hear what your thoughts are and you know if 
if having a website for your business has been a point of contention, a point of anxiety, if it's been something that you've been like, oh, I can't do this until, or, you know, I can't be um, considered proper or real or, you know, like things are actually happening until I've got my website happening. That's bullshit. I'm calling absolute BS on that. Um, the most important thing is who you're being and how you're showing up. So your energetic imprint is is absolutely key and that is also something that I support my clients with very deeply so anyway divine woman if you would like to connect in with me and have a sacred soul session free 30 minute session and have a look at you know what it is that you're here to bring forward at the deepest level you know it's something that uh, is a very um, powerful and divine and activating process and it's something that I love to share so if you are looking at what that looks like for you and you would love to jump on a free 30 minute call with me um, then please either send me a DM or you can go to ceopriestesschat.com and book in a time there's some times available next week I think so, uh, yeah, check in with me and uh, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Sending you so much love. Oh, and on Friday, I really want to talk about um, high end versus group work because that's another bone of contention that I am seeing happen a lot at the moment with people wanting to, or women, you know, wanting to so be of service at the moment to their communities. But, um, you know, if we, if we, Unless you have a really big list, you can't be supported financially by offering a low-end group program. Just going to leave it there. We'll talk more about that on Friday. Sending so much love. Uh, jump in and have a call with me at ceopriestesschat.com. I'm sending you so much love and um, big wishes for the week. Bye.